guys, Dave here from Studio Motors. We're back with a new episode, and this one is on the BMW M3. I'm gonna give you the five reasons why you should take the M3 instead of an M4. The BMW M3 is a beautiful all-around vehicle that you could have in LA. It's safe, it's got decent size, and it is extremely usable with the four doors. For everyday usability, obviously, the M3 beats the M4 hands down. The most polarizing aspect of the new M3 M4 is the front grille. This is the first BMW product that departed from the signature BMW grille. A lot of people still hate it. Now, I understand fully why BMW decided to go this direction. The manufacturing process, all of that is easier now and it's getting more and more competitive. I think this was their decision in making their vehicle stand out. And guess what? Nothing on the road looks like this. And you could say, yeah, because it's ugly, but it's not. Once you're looking at this car in real life, you see the beauty of this. The whole car revolves around this front grille. It makes more sense on an M3 than it does on an M4. It's because the car just wears it better. That roof line carrying through like a sedan and overall having a little bit bulkier presence, the big new grille works better on the M3 and that's reason number two. The M3 is more rare than an M4. When BMW makes the 3 Series, this is not the front end it gets. The 3 Series, no matter what model you get, you are not getting this front end. However, all the 4 Series that's on the road all have this front end. So even if it's a non-M4 Series, it's still gonna have the big grill. The 3 Series shares none of the front end, including the hood, including the fenders. It shares nothing with a 3 Series. You're gonna see a lot of 4 Series on the road and then you're going to see the M versions of those and they're going to be the same car but an M version. You're going to see a lot of 3 Series on the road and the M3s will look nothing like them. It makes it a little more special, a little more rare. That's my reason number three. What I love about the M3 is it looks like a tuner car. This thing doesn't look like it came out of the factory this way, whereas the M4 has much more of a OEM appearance to it. Now let me show you my favorite thing about the M3 and that's how wide the back end looks on this car. The specs are practically identical on an M3 and an M4. However, there's certain things that they can't do on an M3 that they can do on an M4 and I'm gonna point those out to you and why this car looks like a tuner car. Both the M4 and M3 are wider than their non-M versions of the car. Although the M3 and M4 are identical in size, there is not much room to transition into the wide bodies of these cars on the M3, whereas on the M4, you have a massively long quarter panel that they widen up very smooth. However, on the M3, it's a little different and it ends up with an ass that looks a little wider, a lot fatter than an M4. So the entire quarter panel is different than a normal 3 Series, right? However, because the door is the same door as a 3 Series, you have no room to transition into a wide body on this car. So all you have is this much room. So all of a sudden it goes from coming in flat almost to a 90 degree angle coming out and then another 90 degree angle going this way. When you're looking at the car from this angle over here, it looks like it has a wide body kit on it. it just cuts out like this and it just bulges right out. So even from this stance right here, even from this angle, the back just looks massively bigger and I think that's really, really cool. And that's my reason number four to pick the M3 over the M4. This thing is practically the size of an F10 M5. That's the prior generation M5 from BMW. It's the same width, the same height. It's even got the identical wheelbase as an F10 M5, just with less overhang. Four inches shorter than the prior gen M5, only four inches. This thing fills your M3 itch, it fills your M5 itch, it's your family car, it's your all around vehicle. And that's why I would pick the M3. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next week. We've got some fire stuff coming your way. Dave Studio Motors, we are out.